Hello everyone, you are watching another GameSpot charity stream for Play For All. Um, I am Tamo Hussain and I am joined today by a very illustrious guest. You may know him as YouTube's uh, I Super Eyepatch Wolf. I know him now it's as more, It's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, um, yeah, this is one of the many benefits of um, Play For All is we've been able to reach out to a bunch of people um, across the industry um, and kind of just collaborate with them and it's been a kind of like a dream project for a lot of us because it means that we've got a good excuse to reach out to people we're fans of and just be like hey do you want to do this with us and <laughs> you are one of the people that I'm a huge fan of I know that there's a rather large GameSpot contingent that loves your videos and watches them um, oh, so this has you. been that's, that's really amazing um, for people who uh, don't know yeah it, it it was it, honestly like it was weird for me as well because like i've been going to GameSpot since like you know the internet was a thing in dublin and it was like what game spot oh okay um, <laughs> it was it was really cool i remember sending you the email and i was very gingerly sending the email i was like he's not gonna he's not gonna do anything with us he's like way <laughs> too good for us and then you were like yeah i'm up for it i was like i remember speaking to lucy and chastity who organized it with us and i was like he actually said yes and then i told like ben and jean-luc and they were like what so yeah <laughs> for people who don't know super patch wolf um i don't want to pigeonhole you as an anime person but like it's that's okay. Where, I made I'm, I made my bed. I have yeah, to sleep that's on it. that's certainly where I kind of my entry point. Like you, you are to to be reductive a YouTube essayist almost. Um, but like started with anime, but not just like standard anime. Really insightful, smart um, essays and and kind of analytical studies of anime and the industry itself. But you've branched out into just pop culture as a whole, kind of. You've done one of your best videos is is one on the Simpsons and the downfall of that and. It's amazing. So if you haven't seen Super Patch Wolf's YouTube videos, essays, go to his channel and subscribe because I can tell you for sure it is some of the best on the internet. I adore it. So please check it out. Um, uh, that's very sweet. Thank you. But today we're going to be playing What Remains of Edith Finch. Um, before we get into it, um, I do want to point out that we're doing this in uh, aid of raising money for two very important valuable causes the first one being direct relief we're raising money in partnership with that um, organization for uh, covid relief efforts um, and you can see the links on the screen for both of these charities uh, bit.ly forward slash gs hyphen um, covid is for covid relief and then the other one is black lives matter um, incredibly important cause and that is bit.ly forward slash gs hyphen blm if you donate, the money goes directly to those causes. GameSpot does not get in the way of it. We're just helping raise the money and awareness around it. Um, yeah, so please donate generously if you can. If you can't, please share the link and raise awareness around it. And without further ado, let's get into some Edith Finch. Um, so before we start tomorrow, I actually did a little research on this game, and I thought I'd just drop, drop a couple of little facts about it, just some mm -hmm. interesting kind of tidbits. Um, so this is a first-person shooter, and it's the sequel to 2016's Doom. And um, I'm just going to read the back of the box here. Hell's armies have invaded Earth, become the become the Slayer. And I'm guessing the Slayer is this Edith Finch character. Yeah, if I have Edith, that right. is, Edith is the Slayer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in this epic single-player campaign to conquer demons across dimensions and stop the final destruction of humanity, the only thing they fear is you. So I'm guessing that like we are in for a lot of high octane action, a uh, lot of lot of demon killing, a lot of rocket launchers, Absolutely. just kind of some real visceral, violent, action filled stuff. Yeah, so uh, I'm looking forward to it. As a gamer, if you don't already have carpal tunnel, you will definitely have carpal tunnel. You might even walk away with some RSI. That's the kind of game. I'm I'm excited, is. honestly. Yeah. That's kind right. of that's that's what I wanted. You so know, um, wreck your body for gaming. That's what we're all about here yeah, at GameSpot. Yeah. And, and, uh, so and without any further ado, let's just let the carnage begin, okay? <laughs> yeah. Rip and tear. Rip and tear. Let's go. <laughs> well, okay, so straight away, I'm, uh, I'm kind of surprised at the setting. This mm -hmm. maybe is a... Yeah, it's little... the slow... Oh, building. flowers. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, okay. almost certainly poisonous uh -huh. flowers. Yeah, the, or maybe demon flowers even. We don't know. Uh, let's see. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. It already doesn't. No. I'm not, not. I'm so lost already. 
<laughs> okay, I'm guessing that broken arm is from punching a demon in half. Right in the face. Cacao yep. demon. Right in the gob. Uh, Zaki Chan in the uh, Super Fire Patch Wolf uh, chat says, we got a comedian here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I am keeping an eye on both the GameSpot um, YouTube chat and the Super Eye Patch Wolf chat. So, um, anything, you, any questions you have, let us know. So, Tamor, I know nothing about this game. I mm -hmm. have never played it before. I, I don't know what the deal is. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or it's so when we were talking about this game, like playing this game, I kind of, I wasn't like. I wanted to give you an out in case you wanted to take it just because this is one of those games that I think is really, really special. And it's also one of those games that like the experience of it can be quite profound. Um, yeah. I've heard that before. All right. Yeah. But um, my, my, my thinking was like, I'm just going to make sure he knows that if he wants to play this in isolation off a stream, he has that available to him. Cause I don't want, yeah. I didn't want there to be a situation to be like, damn, that was amazing. I wish I wasn't, being screamed at by another person and on a stream at the same time <laughs> but you you kind of like these kind of experiences right uh yeah one of my favorite one of my favorite experience stream was actually streaming um devotion which was the the really great horror game from red candle studios a uh, taiwanese horror game very really interesting intimate experience and um kind of like touched on a lot of like you know, pretty profound stuff, but like the idea of experiencing that for the first time with people was actually awesome. And so I am very down for whatever we have here. Yeah, I think this is, I mean, technically you would call this in, in the uh, trumped up genre label, uh, a walking simulator, but sure. you know, I find that to be quite reductive. Yeah, totally. I think there's definitely like a better name for that stuff. But um he might unlock the front door. An experiential narrative game. There we go. Made that shit up and it's whack. Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. I love the stuff like this. That's re like even just like the positioning of the text is super yeah. cool. Oh, no. Oh, Let's oh. take that down. Okay. Um, Tomorrow, I'm very bad at games and especially on stream. Mm -hmm. So I might need your guiding hand at certain points if I fail to make any significant okay. progress. I'm trying to remember how much I, I can. I have. I do like this game a lot, but I don't remember it being particularly difficult. I think it's one of those Excellent. games where it's just like you just have to poke around for a bit and eventually you'll know. Uh, it will become obvious what you can do. Plus, we have plenty of people watching in chat that can help us out. Um, Excellent. If need be. But, see, it's just stuff like this. Like, it, when you reach a dead end, it usually means that it's just a different a path. When I was 11. God, like, it's a simple looking game, but it's beautiful. It is, yeah. And I think, you said you don't know much about it, right? Nothing. Okay. So I think it's one of those games that kind of like plays on the of a family, they were just the expectation that is around walking simulators. But they seem to be quite muted and quite grounded. It starts to have mm. fun with that here and there. Okay, that's cool. It's like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Hmm. Interesting. Alara Katunda so in uh, the Super Eye Patch Wolf chat says there's like one puzzle, which is pretty, pretty accurate. I'm actually really glad to hear that because I get the worst like let's play tax with simple puzzles. My brain just like stops working, you know? Yeah. That's um, one of the reasons, yeah, I try and I don't stream much because that performance anxiety can just make you do weird things. Edie told yeah. me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. Hmm. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. 
Seems like everyone left in a hurry. Yeah. Um, you were talking about, uh, I guess, like the analytical quality of a lot of my videos. Mm. Um, I'm going to say that um, use it, using that ability right now, something's not quite normal here. <laughs> Damn, this is why you get paid the big bucks, baby. <laughs> yeah, it's it's all in the, you know, the details. You just you look out for stuff. <laughs> um oh man oh whoa that's so cool god the interior of this place is looks deadly my mom yeah there's that an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother milton was alive there's like a madcap okay. quality to to everything in this game i have like, been in houses not dissimilar to this um there I always get like shit. Which short stories should I tell on stream? But um, there was one time when I was out and I met a very nice person, and they were really super cool and super fun. And they invited me back to their house. And when I got back to their house, it looked kind of like this, <laughs> but there were books everywhere. And I swear to God, about forty cats running in between the piles of books, and it was one of the strangest houses I ever saw. This, this sounds like an amazing house. I love books. I love it, cats. Uh, the smell of piss kind of detracted yeah. from the charm a little bit, I would say. But it was definitely a memorable experience. Like, I've still never seen an interior like that again. <laughs> oh, whoa, that's a door. That is a, a choice. A choice was made here. So a couple of people in chat are saying um, they want a super chat. Don't worry about super chat stuff. Um, I'm keeping an eye on things and I will read out comments uh, wherever possible. If you want to donate, you can see the two links on the screen. Um, Bit.ly forward slash GS hyphen BLM or GS hyphen COVID. Uh, those are the important courses we want to raise money for. Uh, a bad underscore proof of concept says uh, the little details in this game really add to it. Oh, wow. Okay, this really reminds me. What was that old Jurassic Park game? Oh, jeez. Um, was it called Trespasser? And you had this weird floaty first-person hand? Hmm. Barbara was a child star for two years until America grew out of it. Some of this stuff is like vaguely spooky. Like I'm wondering what we're in for here. Yeah, I, I'm trying my best not to say much because even but if I did, yeah, yeah, okay. did say anything, like it would be very difficult to encapsulate what this game is. It's just incredibly. Okay, oh, I'm very intrigued. Yeah. Okay, so we got the peepholes. Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. That sentence was Calvin <laughs> alive ass. during that time. Yeah, was his just his corpse just <laughs> on a bed? As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. That's a cool bathroom. Wow, I like that. I'd I'd be down for a bathroom like that. <laughs> okay, what else we got? See, I have seen like the very odd clip of this game. But what I've seen is so weird, seems so weirdly out of context that I'm like, is that the same game? Molly always seemed hmm. like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. Wow. <laughs> okay. That would put a, would throw a spanner in the old friendship, yeah. all right? That feeling of when you watch something, you're like, they, is this the same game? That's something very much they go for in this. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I love these interiors, dude. They're so my mom well done. I regretted not sealing it up. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. It's got a, it's got a very Adams Family vibe to this. Like, if you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, totally. Everyone's kind of weird in Turns a different out, way. My mom was really good at keeping secrets. Yeah, that's cool. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Reading this 
Maybe it sounds like I had a plan, but I had no idea what was behind that door. Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. I'm, I'm like, slowly things are coming back to me about where this goes. And I'm like, just so excited. I'm like, looking at the time, I'm like, I'm re I really hope we get through all of this. Uh, hopefully, hopefully. I'll try not to take too long on stuff. But no, man, no, no, I am... So some of this stuff is so cool. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. Hmm. Where are we going? Did you get a chance to play Devotion at all? I didn't. So, um, unfortunately, they pulled it before it. it. <sighs> yeah, I literally re caught it, isn't it? As a physical release, so yeah. Yeah. But um. I caught it. I just caught a Resetier thread about it, and I just said, "All right, I'll I'll check this out." And um, man, it's just such a shame that that game like didn't get like a wider release because it is. It, it to me, it's like. I don't want to talk over too much of the story. I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's gonna happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving. So I looked around for something to eat. Oh, uh, not the not that little girl. Dry, but I didn't mind it. Is that poop in there as well? Come on. Uh, Looks yeah. Like mm. Gerbil poop. She died yeah. from gerbil poop. Yeah, I mean, if this little girl didn't make it, I have to feel like there's a certain amount of Darwinism at work there. <laughs> like, not to be not to be dismissive of her plight, My but. <laughs> We have someone in the GameSpot chat, new Nunrox26, who says, I've beaten this game a bunch of times. Well, Nunrox, you are now officially our What Remains of Edith Finch guide. So <laughs> if we run into any trouble, we'll be, we'll be consulting you. Uh, hello to Taid uh, in your chat, who says, Wagwan, guys. What's happening? <laughs> Oh no, child! Oh, child! I ate a lot of things that night. Ah, uh, tomorrow I don't know about this. <laughs> <laughs> I... Just keep eating. The girl is hungry. Okay, Just keep eating. Okay, okay. <laughs> then I heard chirping outside my window. Oh no! It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. Swallow the swallow. Suddenly, what? Tomorrow, I don't want to get too spicy, but I think this girl's a fucking liar. <laughs> like all children, <laughs> she's a liar. <laughs> um, where are we going? So we're on our branch. Ah, okay. You're a cat, baby. Do some a pouncing. Finally. I tried to be quiet, but the bird's really scared. Dude, this is cool. I am enjoying this. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. Oh, that's creepy. Cause you're a cat. They didn't know. I really enjoy how merciful the platform controls are in this. Yeah. There's like a beta version of this that is infuriating, I'm sure. Yeah. Just like playing Bionic Commando. <laughs> I could tell she was getting really tired. Where am I going? 
Is that bird at? Where's she gone? Ah. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. <gasps> Savage. Oh, <gasps> damn. Okay. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Oh, wow. Okay. This is cool. Like, I, I'm flying tomorrow. I'm flying. <laughs> It's really, it really like keeps you on your toes with in terms of what you're yeah. seeing and playing and feeling. Gotcha, buddy. Yeah, the circle of life. Oh damn! Oh it's... no! Oh, what kind of L is that? <laughs> Brutal. This game. So already I'm kind of like, yep, this is absolutely something I'm going to replay with Michelle. Yeah. It's like amazing, both as a playing and a viewing experience. It's got like Ghibli vibes to it. Yeah, I, I get that, all right. Hmm. Shark. Uh, tomorrow, we're really gonna need like a fact <laughs> check on this girl's story. I really, this this now. Yeah, she's a she's, she's spinning a, a yarn tiny here, liar. <laughs> oh my god! So this is the bit I saw where I was like, it, no, it's not the same yeah. game. Is this so I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad that like we're already here. <laughs> How is the shark to life? Oh, there we go. Mm. It's really cool how the controls kind of change for each animal. Exactly, yeah. I wanted fat, juicy seals. To eat a seal? A lot of fat on that seal. Oh, damn. There we go. <laughs> Running and gunning says in the uh, iPatch Wolf chat man, this goat simulator DLC looks weird. It does kind of <laughs> have that vibe. <laughs> Um, guy in the GameSpot chat says, I Patch Wolf is my favorite. So, I feel like we were kind of guided to this to this section of the game, but like, is it more open than that? Like, could we have gone to a different place? No, it's fairly linear. Okay, cool. In terms of how you experience, yeah. Because you are going through a series of stories. Ah! Oh, that's such a cool control method. So basically, I'm controlling the tentacle with Waz, and then I click, and then I go up to like the farthest point of the tentacle. That's so cool. Hmm. While uh, I guess this, uh, this while John is being a tentacle, I just want to remind folks that you can donate to our causes below. Um, bit.ly forward slash either gs hyphen blm or gs covid um and we'll uh uh be supporting some incredibly valuable causes please do donate generously oh 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 huge shout out to noazic bell who donated ten dollars noaz has been in almost every charity stream and always donating thank you so much for your kindness noaz thank you so much man that's so cool really appreciate it Oh man, oh, oh no! <laughs> so this is actually a remake of Return of the Obra Dinn, so, uh, surprise! 
I've never played Return of the Obra Dinn either, and I really, really want to. Oh, you'd like it, I think. I, I struggled it, with it. It seems because super cool. It's very cool, but it also is set on a ship for most of it, and it has a gentle sway, which makes me motion sick. Oh, no, really? Yeah. Um, there's a PS4 horror game called White Day. It's a Korean horror game, and I really wanted to play it for a long time. But then when I did, it had the most aggressive sway and no way to turn it off. Mm. And it literally meant I just could not play the game. It's, yeah, I, I really struggle with games that do that. Like uh, Last of Us 2 has had it, but it, luckily it's got such good accessibility options that it lets you tweak it. There's something about The Last of Us 2 where I still get it a little bit, even with everything turned off. And I wonder, mm. is it like the motion of Ellie's backpack or something? Yeah, it could um, be something on her, yeah. A focal point that you're not zeroing in on yet. One of the things I'm kind of shocked about is how good all the separate control schemes feel. Like, it never mm. feels janky. It always feels kind of nice. Even yeah, if this it... is, like, really fucking gross. Oh, no! No! Two more! <laughs> no! This reminds me, I think it's the movie Anaconda. This is a, an irrational fear I've always had since watching Anaconda. There's a scene where someone dies because... Was it Anaconda? No, it was like a... It was a... Do you remember the... I don't know if... if I don't know if you had this when you were younger, but there was an old TV show in the UK called 999 which would basically replay, it was like recreations of stories that were horrific. I remember that. And yeah, I know like, I do remember that. An ambulance, like, yeah, you know, it would be like telling you awful stories that happened to people. One of them was like, there was a story about this place. I, I don't think it was in England. It was somewhere where a snake, a very large snake had got into like the toilet pipes. And while someone was sitting on the toilet, the snake came out of the toilet and bit this person on the ass. Oh, and I remember hearing that as a kid and just being irrationally scared of snake toilets. So just one of those things that sounds like one of those things that just it burrows your way into your little child mind and yep. there's no getting it out. There's no, I remember no, I, that show. I, I always remember they, they did this recreation of um, all my stomach started growling. Wow, they did this recreation of one man like breaking a bottle open and stabbing another man in the face. Yeah. And I was like, I was like four, and I, I was so traumatized. Yeah, I think 999, the, t the the show, it's still got one of the most terrifying opening title sequence musics. Like, it's, every time I hear it, it gives me chills. I'm like, oh, don't, don't play that. It's like upsetting on many different levels. Tomorrow, I'm not sure I like, oh, damn, okay. There we go. Sure, if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Oh, old Molly didn't. No. Okay. Well, you know, I don't want to get too down too quickly. Maybe things work out better for every other member of the family. Oh, I, I think the optimism's good. You should keep it. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. I'm a positive, positive Pete. I can't describe it, but I felt like some part of Molly was still here. Okay, what are we doing? This will be okay, we didn't... later, but my mom Oh wow, we've had a stories. donation for Black Lives Matter from Eli Berg Moss of two hundred and fifty dollars. So, Holy shit, Eli! Thank you so much. That is That's that is amazing. so cool. Dude. Thank you. Thank you so much, Eli. That's that's huge. That's spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. That's going to be super valuable to a lot of people. Um, yeah. And help massively. Thank you, Eli. For five hundred years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. And misfortune. 
Odin Finch buries the latest victim. This is so Odin cool. Finch, his wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40 waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore in their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in his family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Mm -mm. Oh, no. Is that it? Even like the way you pull put that down, you like yeah. pull back from it. Like you have to hold right. back. Uh while there's a slight lull, I'm just gonna shout out two more donations. Six dollars from Connor who says, Thanks to John for guessing on this. Much love to you and the LFAB crew. That's the Let's Fight a Boss, my video game podcast. Yeah, I'm sure they'd be super appreciative of that. Thank you so yeah. much, Connor. And then we have a donation for what looks like RNG World and God. it's R N G W R L D N G N R. I don't know how you pronounce that, but it's two hundred and fifty dollars towards COVID relief. And this person says, "Sorry, I missed the start of this. This is one of my favorite games of all time." Thank you so much. Another huge. That's donation. incredible. At uh, what, what was that person's name? R N G World and G N R. R N G. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's really appreciated. <laughs> Let's just go with R N G. <laughs> Massive. Thank you okay, so much. Okay, so so it's more. Unfortunately, old Odin didn't make it either. Um, Sad time. Um, keep but, the optimism. Though. Yeah, yeah, but like, like we still have a lot of people on yeah. this list who i'm sure are fair i th i think what they do with stories like this is they get all the sad shit out of the way first and yeah. that way we can kind of bask mm -hmm. in the in the joy later on a lot Absolutely. My mother. hey it's the bathroom you love you still want this yep. <laughs> you want that shaggy copy and all you know there was some perspective <laughs> things going on <laughs> when i looked in here first uh now i'm still feeling the color i'm still feeling the general vibe but um it's feeling a little more silent hill for the room uh now that i'm actually in here and i'm not sure i'm super down for it uh not sure about this tub i call these murder tubs because they just feel like <laughs> areas to die in i love that um, got a chair in there for the elderly yeah <laughs> okay so that donation was from some uh from ringwald engineer that's how Ringwald that. Engineer, thank you yeah, so much. Ringwald dude. Engineer, that's... thank you so much. And he's he's one of yeah. your community members. So oh, uh, thank out. you so much, man. He's hanging out in the Super I Fetch Wolf chat. Thank you so much. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. Oh my god, dude! Book. Yeah. Like. Every part of the game so far is so weirdly thought out, you know? Yeah. Like it's I, such a it, meticulously crafted experience. Yeah. Like the cool shit per minute is so high. Mm. Actually, I want to just have a little. What do we got in here? Calvin Finch. Okay. It's more my money's on old Calvin to make it out of this alive. He'll, no problem. Yeah, I'm glad. That's, he's I a survivor. You know, he's a fighter. Sounds, yeah. He he's a he takes a lot of photos. He observes his surroundings very careful. Mm -hmm. Good self awareness. We'll see yeah, any danger yeah. coming. Hundred percent that he can get. Uh, he's he have built a, forts. He has. He builds a fort. Look at this bridge thing. That's a that's a he's like space. It's a known, that's a just natural survivor right here. <laughs> Try and kill this guy. A day. Yeah. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. And that he never talked about him. 
I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Calvin. Uh, How I want to remember read those. my brother by Sam Fink. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother this said is cool. He'd die before he ate another mushroom, and he did. Uh. <laughs> Some more. <laughs> Buddy. How you feel about swings? Uh, I don't know about this. Calvin wants to fly. He likes space. But that day, he it's fine. He's going to dinner. His mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible. Mm. Maybe if I hadn't said that. <laughs> Tomorrow, I don't like this. <laughs> Calvin's loving it. This is Calvin's will. He wants to okay, fly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, he's a born survivor. He can do this. Yeah, he's, he's I good, believe in him. Good. Yeah, no, Primary that's alright. This is just fun. This is just two kids yeah, having a good just, time. This is good. Primary fire. Who are we chat, as so. adults to tell them what is safe <laughs> and what is not? Primary fire says, I don't think there's anything wrong with this. I agree. <laughs> oh, God. Oh my god, yeah, this is- even watching this is giving me- Oh, oh. It's fine, Everything's it's fine, fine. It's fine. Everything's it's fine. fine! No! Oh. Oh, there you go. Wow, there it is. La Lara Lara Katundo says, it's okay, there's a fence. Um... <laughs> So tomorrow that 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 was a little disappointing, I must say. Yeah. Uh, really believed in old Calvin, but I'm I'm glad we have the rest of the family to fall back on. Many finches. Oh. Um. After the funeral, Edie rubbed off Calvin's house to the room. Oh wow, that's so sad and so cool. Mom said, "Grab the Sam and listed at 18, and never set foot in the room again." Hmm. So there's just like this complete dividing line between these two yeah. rooms. This kid loved Ex war. This kid, fucking hell, dude! This, this well. game. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's an half Man. Oh. Uh, big shout out to Oni Dino who donated ten dollars for Black Lives Matter and then ten dollars for uh, COVID relief and says, "May the Queen cast and the Dork Prance reign supreme." Really though, thank you for doing this stream, everyone. That was uh, only Di only Dino is a mod in the Let's Fight a Boss Discord, yeah. and um, thank you so much for the donation, Noni. I uh, didn't understand the rest of that. It's not um, <laughs> you just not interested in getting into what any of that means. Don't <laughs> don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Doesn't know now. Thank you so much, Oni. Uh, Air Taco eighty eight asks a good question. Who puts a swing by a cliff? <laughs> yeah, at at some point, I think the parents maybe should have just just stepped in a little bit there. Maybe little Calvin and Sylvie with us. The were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built with smaller hands and bellies. That's cute. Oh, okay. Before we get out here, I just want to have a little look. What was back here? Uh, well, uh. Trying huh. to look around. I'm just going to shout out two more donations. One from Owen Whalen, twenty-five dollars to Black Lives Matter, and then Jeffrey Baker, twenty-five dollars to Black Lives Matter. Thank you guys so much. Owen, Jeffrey, couple of class acts right there. Right, for sure. Oh, this is good. Oh, wow. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Child star. Of all the For... stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. 
This looks like one of those old like 1950s horror comics. I did mm. a bunch of research on these recently. Surprise ending of Barbara Finch. Uh, don't think I'm gonna get my hopes up for this one tomorrow. I think, uh, don't see a great outcome for old Barbara. She's a child star, she'll be protected. A lot of people invested in her. That's right, they'd never kill a child again. No. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Beastie Con 1960. I feel like Beastie Con would have different connotations now. <laughs> Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan, her current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. To more, if someone offered you five million dollars, but that had to be your voice for the rest of your life, would you take it? Yes. I'll take it. Because my thinking is you could kind of make more money off the voice then. Start voice, a creepy exactly. YouTube channel. Like, yeah. Yeah. I'd do this. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is the <laughs> door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles in secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him. Right on cue. She reached for the music box. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick. But the house was silent. This is cool. They can't do that. <laughs> no, they can and they did. She found Rick's crutch and imagined the worst. That's just the hollow like <laughs> It's not like the Halloween song. That is the <laughs> Halloween song. Listen, they paid. They paid up. I think. I think. Yeah. Okay. That was probably the most expensive part of the development. Now, in fairness, I have actually used that song before, but I just stole it. Yeah. <laughs> if you can do it, they can do it. Yep. Dude, this is so cool. Uh, hmm. <laughs> uh, oh, no, no other way we can go. Eh? Okay, <laughs> towards the fridge, it is then. What could be inside? Oh, dear. <laughs> oh. Rick? Absolutely done in Rick there. <laughs> I was just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared. Rick. I don't know about this I'm Rick character scared. personally. Yeah. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused. And you... Rick has huge Don't douche act. energy. Yep. Yep. Not a fan. Not a fan. I think Barbara can do a lot better personally. I agree. My other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late late picture show. Hours later. Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Mm. Right, and Gunning says, you know Rick is cool because he has he wears sunglasses inside. Yeah. That it like I can't argue with that as much as I want to. That is a very cool thing to do. Ooh, mm -hmm. uh, okay. Oh. Uh, so tomorrow everything's fine. 
Fine. Um, some of the people who watch my streams will know this, but I don't really get scared, so like these kind of sections are kind of just lost on me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <sighs> but um, <laughs> let's just see. Okay, that's fine. That's just a creaking door. The fire patch wolf is known for his braveness. So. Yeah, it's a famed brave YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> You've got a crutch. You're fine. I returned. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Barbara lives. Barbara victory. Okay, well, typically in horror films, when the killer goes down for the first time, that's usually it, so we're safe. Yes, the end. Most horror films only last about half an hour anyway, so... Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's really weird, but that's that's how it is. Mm -hmm. Wes Craven? Don't know how he's managed to make a career out of half an hour movies. Ridiculous. Yeah, absolutely. Glorified TV shows, I call them. Grow oh, dear. Place. Oh, what's <laughs> happened here? <laughs> Uh, okay. How did that skill in? At the door, she heard whispering. It was coming from inside the house. No! What? Oh dear. Oh dear, indeed. Tomorrow I feel like a fool. <laughs> Don't you, Barbara lives. It was a dream come true. Then she saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was crowned. Okay, well, all right. I like this guy. Yeah, he's good. Good vibe. Good vibe, yeah. Huge fan of the Crypt Keeper vibe that he's exuding. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Okay. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Hey, at least little Walter survived. Walter's fine. Walter's yep. living a life somewhere. Um, Air Taco A says Pumpkin Man, best boy. He he was he was a rather good Agreed. boy. I'll give him that. 
agreed. Cool name guy says anime super with eye patch wolf. Don't know what that means? Uh, but... Not not a fan generally. No, yeah. Not a big anime guy. So yeah. uh, why would I why would I watch cartoons made for children personally? No, it's ridiculous. Um, yeah, I like if... American cartoon shows like Dragon Ball Z. Yep. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Ah, yeah. The most written American. By, um, just... yeah. yeah, written yeah. by uh, Sam Freedom. Mm -hmm. Full of American patriotism. So full of patriotism. Sometimes it's yeah. a bit like, well, calm it down, Star it's Platinum. Overwhelming, yeah. Relax. Yeah. We get it. You stand. All those times I played with the music box and never found the basement key. Uh, we've got a twenty dollars donation from the leg, who says, "Great to see a stream of a fun short story a game, even though it wall. sadly does not have that sweet, sweet platinum." Fine. Thank you so much for your donation of twenty dollars, the leg. You're a That's hero. awesome, the leg. Thank you so much. We've already done this bit, haven't we? Oh, I guess not. We haven't done it in this time. <gasps> oh, I get you. Yeah. Ah, the basements. Thankfully, the least frightening part of any house. No, basements are f absolutely fine. Has anyone seen it? Chapter one it is basements <laughs> are fine. It's a good place. You just go for a swim sometimes. Are you being into horror films tomorrow? I do, yeah. I do like a lot of horror films um, and I enjoy watching them. It's Monster been a while since I've really delved limits. into them. Yeah, um, I used to watch them all the time as a kid. Like, uh, I recently subscribed to Shudder, and have been having a terrific time with that. Mm, that's awesome. Yeah, I need to do that. I really, I love that sensation of being scared. But as a child, mm. I was a like top ten S rank coward. Um, oh really? Yeah. So my my family members, specifically my cousins, used to torment me by making me watch films that I should not have been watching as a child. Oh no. I, I had like who did that as well. Yeah, I was like six and watching Texas Chainsaw Massacre and that kind of stuff. Um, uh, yeah, when I was like six, I watched Acura. Oh yeah. Now we talk about anime for a living, so that's their fault. Yeah. Ah uh, yeah, I, when I was young, I they gave me a Super Nintendo to play for a bit, and here I am. I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. Um. I'm gearing up to rewatch Hereditary tomorrow, and I'm very Ooh. excited. Yeah, that's a good. That film. is a nasty, mean movie. There's a pattern yeah. With these stories. I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Uh, mega. Mega Twenty Able says, "Yo, Wolf, didn't know you were doing another stream today. Good, pleasant surprise. Welcome." Thanks uh, so Wolf much. Is, dude. Goodbye, yeah, everyone. Wolf has very been been very gracious enough to join Gamespot for, for a charity stream. So if you're watching this, we're actually playing <laughs> What Remains of Edith Finch for uh, two causes, which you can see the links for below. Please donate if you can. And you guys have been running these streams for. Quite a little bit now, haven't you? You've yeah, done a lot. We're about, about five weeks in now. I think we got maybe Jeez. one and a bit That's what weeks going there. I nearly died after that one charity stream. I don't know how <laughs> you guys do it. Living for today. Oh. I always expected to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. Oh, this is so cool. Mm. Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. Love this. And then one day, everything just stopped. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe you got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid.
How do you feel about peaches? The longest in 30 years. You know, I like peaches. I'm I'm generally a fan. I have to. Same. Well, I still can. Oni Don also has nice tongue click there, just for the hereditary fans out there. <laughs> oh, I can't I wait to watch that movie. Somewhere. Whatever killed Barbara. Did you see Midsummer? No, I've not seen that yet. Molly. I want to watch yeah. it. I'm gonna maybe this weekend actually. It's good stuff. Yeah. Deeply unpleasant. That's yeah, that's why I've been waiting for a moment. Like it feels, Maybe it feels irresponsible to watch thing. deeply unpleasant things in this current time, in the climate. Yeah, that's kind of, that's why I kind of feel like part of The Last of Us 2 is kind of like, um, you guys want to see the grimmest version of reality possible? That's like, no, <laughs> we're okay. <laughs> well, yeah, we've got it, we're fine. <laughs> yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're cool. Yeah. It feels like we're living the prequel to The Last of Us, so it feels like... <laughs> oh, God. I don't know what's going on. Are you, are you far into Last of Us 2? Oh, yeah, I finished it a couple of days ago. How are you feeling about it? I don't mind if I only have a year left. I, I'll tell you after this. Or a month. Okay. Or a single week. I'd be happy with one new day. I can already imagine the sun. So The Last um, of Us Part 2. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Walter, buddy. Rest, rest in peace, He Walter. got pretty far, though. Yeah. It's a shame he lived so much of his life underground and secluded. Yeah. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. And he was down here. So I'm guessing he knew, he knew about the curse and he was like, all right, I'm going to I'm gonna Just try hide. and wait yeah. this out. Sure my mom was Shit, to that's, that's grim. Yeah, it's fucked up. So yeah, The Last of Us 2, I think it's an exceptional narrative and characterization thematic experience. Like, one of the most like thought-provoking games I've played in a really, really, really long time. And it's like taken up residence in my house, just living rent-free in my brain for the last few days. Um, wow, high praise. I think the, pe game, the, the pacing of it is not great. I found it quite frustrating. I think a lot of the gameplay was very uh bland like I, I pretty much it doesn't evolve in any meaningful way i'm i'm one of those people who like wants games to change which is why i love this mm. game so much or at least it needs to be built in a way that's quite um rewarding on the loop and i don't i didn't find it to be too rewarding for me um and as as the game goes on the pacing kind of clashes with the repetitive gameplay style and i just wanted to get more of the story and it was like go and walk towards thing over there and I was like, we're gonna stay spoiler free here, so no I'm no worries for people in the chat. But yeah. I, I I respect it more than I enjoyed it, perhaps so is the way to say it. But, I, I I get you a hundred percent. Yeah. Mm. But I still think it's a fantastic I feel I feel like it's an essential play. Like um We gave it a seven out of ten, which I agree, but I'd still say it's a game that everyone should play because it does just amazing things with characterization and narrative theme story that kind of stuff so you gave it a seven out of ten mm -hmm. maybe it'd be better if have sony been in contact yet <laughs> uh i don't believe so that's that's okay, something that's a question have, for our I, reviews I, I, I have heard them getting in contact with uh less than stellar reviews of that game uh it happens surprisingly frequently and we've got an amazing wow. reviews editor um, who just, like, I, I've worked in reviews as well, and our job is to just kind of, like, deflect it as much as possible. It happens relatively, I won't say it's all the time, but it's not as so uncommon as most people think. And right now. the trick is to just be professional. Oftentimes, there's a lot of PR people who are just, like, people they understand that it's weird, but for... they're asked to do it. Yeah, um, yeah, I mean, I get that. Yeah, um... I think it I think it was a seven out of ten anyway, but um I'll double check. But if you read the review, uh it's written by um uh Callie Plague, who's our um 
reviews editor. It's just a fantastic review. There's two versions of it. There's a spoiler-free review and there's a fully in-depth review. Um, oh, she gave it an eight, my bad. Um, but yeah, just a great review and I agree with it wholeheartedly. But yeah, great game, despite things. I think we've been surrounded by death for so long. We've just gotten used to it. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? That's such a good line. Hmm. It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but... The pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Three of the Do you know... There are so many parallels between this and devotion. It's it's kind of crazy. Hmm. Sorry That's interesting. The house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. Pet cemetery, not a good remake. Do you know? I I liked it. I actually liked it. Oh really? I'm one of the only people I know who had a good time with that movie. But I thought I, I liked. I appreciated the changes they made. Huh. Um, there was one moment in it that I really liked. And it was when... You know, people know the... Ge I won't get too spoilery or anything, but people know the general story of Pet Cemetery. But there's a bit where someone gets their kid back and it's not quite the same. And he's like stroking the hair of his kid and he just feels all these little staples in her hair. Oh, yeah. That bit, I thought, was, like, weird and uncanny and uncomfortable, and I really liked that. Yeah, there's some very good tension in that movie. Like, moments. Mm. Edie said she dreamed about the old house. I think it's less scary than the original, but I think the original is absolutely horrifying. Yeah. It's the old house. Oh, no way. So that's the house that sank. Hmm. Edie's side was always easier for me to understand. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. Just to watch as so she tried punching the curse. <laughs> Part of me thinks that would do it. But, yeah. Curses and ghosts are notoriously vulnerable to physical <laughs> physical attack. It's a good uppercut. While John Crimes the ladder, I'm just going to remind folks to please donate if you can um, towards Black Lives Matter and COVID relief efforts. Both links are on the screen, bit.ly and either forward slash... Uh, GS hyphen BLM or for slash GS hyphen COVID. There was going to be so much climbing. And we might even read out your beautiful name. You never know. Yeah. Any Anything could happen. I anything. I That's the least we could probably do. But will we do it? Yeah. Uh, Donate to find out. It's only, yeah, only one way to find out, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At more there was a moment uh when i was talking to you earlier and i was like what what charities are we collecting for because mm -hmm. i realized i hadn't asked and i was terrified the answer was going to be like oh building the wall and i'd be like oh, oh. okay <laughs> well you're committed now so you get on team wall <laughs> i have to um oh but um yeah, yeah no, they're really great causes and like um you know i'm happy to be part of this even just a little bit to help support cool stuff like that uh for sure um we are if for folks don't know we're partnering with direct relief which is helping out healthcare workers on the front lines helping people who have covid and um black lives matter which obviously is campaigning to end systemic racism against black people in various communities both in america and around the world um, so please donate generously if you can we're all afraid of something. Uh, 
Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Daniel Moreno, um, great guy from our community, says, I appreciate how Tam waited to give his impressions of The Last of Us Part 2 in order for Ipatch Wolf to experience Walter's death. <laughs> <laughs> that was a, that was a moment of pro streaming, I call that. Yeah, yeah. You knew exactly when to drop Walt. the information, when to pull back. <laughs> it was good shit. Don't want to get in the way of death. So it hasn't come up too much on this play on, on this game because it's so kind of linear i have such an awful sense of direction and i always worry it makes my streams miserable because <laughs> i'll like circle around the same room so many times before actually finding where i'm meant to be see i do that same thing but when i'm streaming if i ever do that on a stream i just act like i'm paying really close attention to the details in the environment Oh, so that's such like a good I'm idea. Really, yeah, I'm really appreciating oh. what's happening. I'm like, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to okay. ban all my current stream audience and just start fresh <laughs> so I can pretend to do that. Yes. No one can ever say that you didn't have that skill yep. if there's no, everyone's banned. There you go. Yep. Uh, Reptiles Rolls says uh, he's a huge fan of yours and wants a shout out. Shout out to Reptiles Rolls. Rept, what was his name? Reptiles rule. Reptiles rule. Thank you so much, dude. Yeah. Appreciate you watching the videos. It's getting spooky again. It's getting a little spooky. Someone asked if you ah. left a note on the desk. Did you read oh, the note? No, I don't think I did. Let's head right. back there real quick. Let's have a quick look. Just in case. <laughs> Someone said when you're talking about <laughs> potentially being set up with what charity just to watch says, no, you misunderstand. These are donations for the virus to make it more dangerous. <laughs> and <laughs> Oh, not again. Oh, God. <laughs> no, of course, we are working to stop or mitigate the impact of the viruses. Good shout by uh, who was that? Twazuk um, in making sure that we read the note. Oh. Gone, I promise. oh my god, I can't believe you could miss this. this. Yes, sir. These memories are gonna last a life. Mm -hmm. Am I gonna have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip, Don. Shooting is strongly encouraged. Oh. Oh damn. What happened there? Oh, the game crashed. Let me Did try to load crash? that up. Yeah, Ooh. it just got straight crash there. So, Tawazuk, I'm taking that gratitude back. I can't believe you absolutely set us up for making us interact with a bug there. Yeah, absolutely hate to see on, it. on a charity stream, <laughs> on a dude. Charity Come stream. on. Come on, dude. Ridiculous. Yep. Um, I will, we... I guess, will I try that again or do we not want to risk the crash? I'll try again, try again. <laughs> if it someone said uh, mega 20 able says did it doki doki or is it a legit crash it was a legit crash this wasn't a doki doki <laughs> oh i'm up for that becoming like popular verbiage <laughs> yeah let's try this again if it crashes again then we have to skip it sam that's my impression of dean from supernatural for everyone Oh man, you should hang out with Michelle, big Supernatural fan. Oh, Supernatural is so underrated. You know, she's shown me episodes from it, and like they're legit good. Yes. Yeah. And like it's it has fun with itself. Like there's yes. like the ones where like they enter like an alternate dimension, and it's a fan <laughs> convention for them. Yes. <laughs> there's one where they end up on like a Japanese game show, which is like Akima Sukai, where they have just oh have to, like, I remember do that games. Yeah. It's amazing. What what was the name of their fake sitcom? Oh, damn! It's gonna annoy me. I don't remember it. Someone in the uh, chat. It was, it was real funny. Yeah, but yeah, that show gets a bad rap, and it's actually pretty fun. Yeah. Uh, Lara Katunda says that the good episodes are good, but the bad episodes are really bad. That's pretty much yeah. 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 Just need to get a shot of you, Don. Then we can hit the road. Perfect. It's 
gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? I can't believe we nearly missed this bit. This is okay. so cool. Yeah. It's wild that they let you skip it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. Ooh. Hmm. You're right, Dad. It's starting to clear up. I really want to play that um, Umarangi Generations game. Have you seen that at all? No. Huh. It's basically a game about taking photos in, like, a kind of dystopian city, and it looks great. I you oh. should, um, YouTuber Nitro Rad has a really good video about it. Uh, you should check check that guy, check that out. But it, oh. it looks really cool, and it's got, like, a real, like, Jet Set Radio art style. Huh. What's it called? Uh, Umarangi Generations. Oh, I see it here. What am I missing? What am I missing? Let me just take some cool... See if you can take some photos of him. Is he around? Aww. Yeah, you just have some fun and take some photos. While well, Joe takes photos, let's just remind you guys that we are raising money for Black Lives Matter and COVID-19 direct relief efforts, so please... Use the links below bit.ly forward slash yes hyphen either COVID or BLM to donate. I think our um, dedicated moderator, Richie, is in the chat. So, Richie, if you could drop the links into chat, that would be amazing. Um, they're also in the YouTube description. Richie also says Jet Set Radio style. Say less. Seems like yeah. you've sold him. Excellency. Um, I haven't played it myself. And I think it's getting a Switch port at some time, at some point, but it's out now on Steam. And look, it just looks really cool, like really, really cool. God damn it! Where do I? What am I doing here? I think this is it. I think you just have to take photos for a bit. Someone in chat will tell us if we're doing the wrong thing. Twazuk says this is the rest of the game. Enjoy. Okay, cool. Good stuff. <laughs> uh, real strong start to old uh, What Remains of Edith Finch. Hey. Okay. <laughs> That's a keeper. Hold still while I take a picture of you. I'm just there saying, I'm not always going to be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was going to be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're that is a very good, serious dad voice. Being out here make you yeah. Out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? I know you're having a good time here, but Pizza Hut's just announced that it's going bankrupt. <laughs> you don't need to waste any more film on me, kid. Well, that's. Tomorrow, you really brought down the tone of this stream. Last time I was with my brother Calvin. Man, that was a great trip. Uh, Ringwald engineer says, I believe there's something in the upper right and far upper right and far upper left. Oh, what's that? Is it a deer? Damn! <laughs> that girl's got a gun! Do I have to do this? Don, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to survive, then you'll need to be strong. Dude, teach your karate! Yeah. I have to use nunchucks. Now keep yourself squared up. Or like ninja stars. <laughs> ninja star is great option! Yeah. And kunai. Shuriken, get on it. You know how many people Ninja Stars accidentally kill each year? None, because fucking ninjas using them. You yeah. think they make mistakes? No. Do you think anyone sees someone else with a Ninja Stars and, and thinks, yeah, I'm going to pick this fight? No. They're no. the ultimate deterrence. Yeah, exactly. No one wants smoke with anyone holding Ninja Stars. Yeah. 
Ban guns. I really believe it. Legalize ninja stars. <laughs> Oh, I'm a big right. fan of ban. Oh, damn. Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh no. I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember. I'm not that, proud of you, man. Dad. Kill the living creature. Sorry, Don. Just gotta reset the timer. Let's take a picture of his face. This is oh, weird. I'm here. Okay. Oh, oh, you're playing him, aren't you? So do I go up to her? Oh, that that messed with me. Oh, so he's... So you set the so timer I'm... and then leg it. No. Ah! Dad, it's twitching. I think That's it's... totally so... normal, Doc. Oh! Oh, damn. Oh, oh, oh yeah. no! Oh. You absolutely hate to see it, Dad. It sucks. You know what would have uh, uh, helped him out more? The one I, wish most. I, I think Ninja I know. Star. Yep. Ninja, Ninja Star. Ninja Star, yeah. Yep. 100%. Think anyone ever survives a Ninja... Uh, Shuriken? No. I've seen Naruto, and let me tell you, they do not. No. Every shuriken thrown in Naruto lands and kills that? one hit. Yeah, gets gets a little boring about four hundred episodes yeah, of the Shippuden, yeah. but it's it's still, you know, uh, he had a point to make and he made yeah. it. It's basically One Punch Man energy on Ninja Stars. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm okay, we're just fulfilling the uh, the promise of speaking about anime here with these references. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Laura Katunda says, man, the shuriken in Naruto might as well be confetti. <laughs> 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 Which is a great way to put it. <laughs> there was a point, like, when I was watching um, Dragon Ball Z, and, you know, like, someone does a big energy blast, and smoke goes everywhere, and they're like, well, that's it, job done, let's yeah. all... And it's like, <sighs> okay, Gohan, sure thing. Uh... My favorite part of Naruto was when they did the very big shurikens. Do you remember those? The right early oh, in yeah. the franchise? It was like massive ones. And then they very quickly got rid of those. And I was like, oh man, what's happened? Not enough budget for big shurikens? Uh, we have a $10 donation from Faye who says, this donation goes out to the nameless one, Jam, and his wonderful oh, Baki soliloquies. Also, Black Lives Matter, can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah, you hell can. Yeah, well, who's you that can. from? That's from Faye. Faye, thank you so much. Um, I will, I will report your donation to the nameless one. Thank you. Yeah. And then Finlay Doyle also donated ten dollars. Thank you so much, Finlay. Finlay, thanks a million. Dear K, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. Oh man! Yeah, new mechanic. Finally, some some merriment to more. Some oh good, my God. wholesome fun. <laughs> a baby in a bathtub. What could possibly go wrong? Absolutely nothing, buddy. I got this frog. I got this awesome duck. No death. No need for anything. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, okay, tomorrow. I don't like this with this one. How do we how do we <laughs> click out of this? <laughs> I'm now deeply uncomfortable. I believe it's awesome. Oh, God. Oh. Look at that whale, though. That whale. Hello? Oh, the whale looks down. That's a pretty great whale. Whale's Hello? eyes are moving. Oh, something bad's happening outside with Mama. No, Tamor, we we just we got this beautiful frog. That's we got fine. these awesome little ducks. There's nothing nothing to worry about, buddy. We're fine. Yeah. This is how you remake Frogger. Yep. Oh, whoa. Lost in his imagination. Mm -hmm. 
I'm like I'm liking this Gregor kid. Mm. Uh, great imagination, practically indestructible. It's good stuff. It's good. No issues. This track slaps. Yeah. Absolutely banger. 800 years later, still a banger. And still yeah, banger. I'm very confident it was recorded 800 years ago. Yeah. Okay, what are we doing? Huh, okay. Sure made him happy. Yeah! Yeah! Get there the we whale got this involved. guy in the party. This is fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at his face. He's loving it. He's just fantastic. Best character of 2017. Yeah. Okay, now what else are we doing here? Get on the tap. Can you get on the tap? Do we gotta get on the whale? Maybe. Ah, oh, there we go. Yay. Damn, that was a hell of a body slam from the top rope. All right, are you a wrestling fan, Tamor? Uh, not anymore. I wasn't. Okay. I was in the Attitude Era. Actually, I might be might be doing something with the Attitude Era in a little bit. That's, that sounds good. Interesting time for wrestling. Yeah, I've I've seen some. So I watch your uh, what you what you're currently liking, and I'm very interested by that whole uh, John Cena storyline. Oh, that was fantastic! Yeah, great video on it as well. Oh, Heck. up we go. Uh... Yay! More bath time. Nothing good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing can happen. Just getting cleaner. Just I'm getting cleaner and cleaner. Get all that dirt out, dirt out of there. Uh... Okay. Okay. This is much better yeah, than what I thought fine, was happening fine. for a second there. All good in the hood. Oh, there's our friends. Man, okay, they should you... just make the whole game like this. Just <laughs> happy and nothing, nothing, no problems at all. You are the frog? Hey. Oh. Ba -ba. All good, don't worry. Good don't worry, it's all good. Bug Sam. Uh. Uh. Okay. Well. Well. Tomorrow, once again, the mood has been brought down. <sighs> yeah, it's a bit of a. You hate to see it. <laughs> maybe, maybe we should have played moving out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It looks like there's something on that table, behind you. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry, and yet a poem for us who always said what. Okay, Tamora, I, I don't think I can get my hopes too up about Gus. At least not very hard. He's just he flying a kite. There's nothing oh, okay, can go wrong. Okay, okay. You know, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I Absolutely I had fine. grown cynical. This is obviously very wholesome. <laughs> exactly. Just flying a kite. That's how you deal with emotions, right? Just ball it up. It's fine. Oh, I know I do. Oh, yeah, buddy. <laughs> Fly. The Rudotex? Oh, that's cool. 
don't need a stepmom were the words that I now pronounce you husband and wife. Oh. Can we marry? <laughs> Extremely chaotic vibes there. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. 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 Okay. Okay. The time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign held up his middle finger. Oh, man, that... Oh, whoa! Oh. Whoa! Tamora, can you censor that on the stream? <laughs> uh, I think it's a delay. We should be fine. We'll just go off Okay, okay, good. Yeah, no, I, I don't want to be associated with that kind of behavior, no, personally. No, no. Absolutely to awful. <laughs> Gus. Gus, then. Disgusting. Yep. No. Just uh, not not a fan of disrespect to your elders. Not one damn bit. No. Oh, what's going on? With this oh, guy? this is so cool. The rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. Uh, Laura Katinda says, "Baby, that is fine, but I draw the line at middle finger." <laughs> Absolutely, I w could not agree more. Yeah. Uh, death is one thing, but profanity and <laughs> rude gestures get out of here. Yeah. Death is an inevitability. Profanity is a choice. Well, this is this wedding has taken a turn. Yeah. Not, not the best. No. Oh dear. Truly oh. say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone. Just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't. Until we found you. <laughs> so, you know, it's more my decision to not become emotionally invested in Gus. Mm -hmm. uh, it's paying, paying dividends right now, buddy. Yeah. I mean, Gus seemed like a bit of a, a reckless person anyway. Yeah, I'm not saying he deserved it. No. But I'm at the same time. He... <laughs> <laughs> oh. He put the middle finger up and uh, that showed him what I was well. up to the loft after her brother's died. We're in the home stretch of this game. We've got maybe like half an hour left in it. it was really? Hmm. So the only thing that could spoil it is if I'm very bad at playing it. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Big up, Sanjay. Seems like a, seems like a good guy. Nice, yeah, right. nice, nice, cool smile. <laughs> Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. Big up religion. <laughs> My mom moved to India a week Maybe. <laughs> uh, you know. <laughs> helped her. Helped her. Yeah. Oh, oh. Hmm. Uh, okay. When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. Ooh. Whoa. And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. But it didn't last. Oh, ominous. The beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. <laughs> Milton. Just... Not setting up your child for success by calling him Milton. No, 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 um, not one bit. Whatever happens after that point, you have only yourself to blame. Mm -hmm. Peak. Okay, let's see here. So. Tomorrow, I know we like to champion these guys and like be like, oh, well, this one's going to survive. But Milton, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't see it. Just not. Yeah. yeah. 
Just a gonna get killed early vibe to him. Yep. Huge. Ah, uh, look at him. Try it. Try it his best. God yeah. help him. Died with a crown on his head. Uh, it's the most we can any of us can ask for. Oh, that's nice. Oh, cool. <laughs> I actually studied animation in college. Time consuming this? process. <laughs> uh, I, I, yes. Uh, hundred easily. All right, then let's see it. Um... <laughs> <laughs> well, tomorrow you got me. <laughs> Oh, da okay. Oh, Milton, buddy. Disappeared. disappeared. That's a one way of putting it. Kind of reminds me of the Unfinished Swan, that moment. I've never played that. I've always wanted to. It's really, it's really interesting. Mom spent months uh, with my brother. Maybe you should play it after course. playing this. Yeah, I'd totally be up for that. It seems it's 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 been on the list for a while. I mean, you just met Milton. Maybe you should play Unfinished Swan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, There's a link there. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, I'm just uh, enjoying the environment. Just inspecting all the hard work that went into developing this. Not lost at all. Yeah, that's still kind of like the shocking thing to me about this game, just how generally dense it is. Like, not even just the environments, but just everything, you know? Yeah. It's, it's like... It, it There's no downtime. There's no, like lag or filler i guess you know what i mean yeah all killer no filler L literally hell yeah <laughs> finally <laughs> they should make every game like this just make it good like it, it's simple when you think about it yeah so before we get into the next bit um, i'm gonna just shout out um our charity effort again because the next bit is quite good um Chris Lachlan gave $5 to Black Lives Matter. Thank you so much, Chris. Thank you so um, much, Chris. And you can donate to if you use the links below uh, in the YouTube description. It's bit.ly forward slash GS hyphen BLM or GS hyphen COVID, depending on where you want to um, donate to. All the money goes directly to those um, two efforts, Black Lives Matter and um, Direct Relief. So please donate generously. My head and... The, I think I am. I think you are. Okay, good stuff. Hard to say, honestly, but generally. So, Timur, before the stream, noticed you're wearing a Hunter Hunter T-shirt. Hmm. I am. That. That's that's some good shit. Right From there. Uniqlo. Un oh man, I love Uniqlo for that reason. The first time I went to Japan. And there was like one piece t-shirts. I nearly lost my mind. Yeah. They do some good stuff with, uh, sometimes yeah. they do great stuff. Sometimes they do some absolutely tragic attempts at anime licensing where it's just like, here's a JPEG of Goku or PNG of Goku. We've slapped onto a t-shirt. <laughs> it's like, come on guys, you're better yep. than this. Um, yeah. but this was, I bought like a bunch of like one piece and, and, um, uh, Hunter, Hunter stuff. That was real good. This is one of them. I think you're Where going the right way. Uh, this is the wrong way, apparently. Okay, cool. Okay. Let's make our way back in. So I think there's a staircase that we um missed earlier hmm. let's 
go back through here. Yeah. Next next to Milton's tower. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dang. Uh support lesbian. Great. Yes, the support lesbian. Uh says John, what's your favorite Irish food? My favorite Irish food. I don't like a lot of Irish food because there's a lot of it where it's like you just f fuck a bunch of shit in a pot and <laughs> it's like boil it for two hours and it's like, there, we made food. And it's like, ah! um, but I also like there's this kind of like potato pancake. And I think it's called like a box tea or something like that. I only oh. found out about it recently and they are super good. They're re I found a restaurant that did them in Dublin and I was like, cool. And then the pandemic happened and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's outside near the tower. Is that it? No. It's like to the left of the door. Um, so here's Milton's. Is that it? Yeah, so straight down and then to the left. I believe that. Yeah, I think so. Maybe. Am I going mad? I am going mad. So would it be around here? Past the classroom. So I think it's that that set of stairs that you just saw on the other side there. So yeah, back the way you came. So. So keep going around. There you go. To the oh, left. there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Cool. Easy to miss that one. Man, that sink sunken house. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, Ringworld engineer. Uh, donated a hundred dollars and said you missed the staircase by Milton's castle. <laughs> <laughs> Just an absolutely amazing way to help us out there. That is, <laughs> I think that's the most functional a uh, donation has ever been. Like, hey guys, here's $100 for charity. Also, you missed the staircase, so you're going the wrong way. Shout out to Ringworld Engineer. Thank you Huge so much, Ringworld Engineer. Thank you so much. Um, and thank you for hanging out in the uh, Twitch chat for Super iPad 12 and being a good person, generally. Um... Hmm. Uh, interesting, uh, Noazic Bar says uh, in the GameSpot chat, Hey guys, as fan of, uh, fans of anime, what are your thoughts on Bleach? Well, if you want to hear Super no, no. thoughts on Bleach. <laughs> I, w I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't watch that video. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, so a couple of years ago, I made a video about Bleach. And kind of like, it was sort of meant to be about how I sort of fell off the series. Mm. There's some info about in that video that like is not really accurate to like how Shonen Jump works. And that's something I've been thinking about a lot lately and maybe something I'm gonna revisit in the near future. Um, it's a good series. It, I think it gets, it falls off. Like I think yeah. there's a real cut, there's a real, there's a real hard cut off for like Prime Bleach for me. Damn, what am I doing here? Um, ah, okay. Um, but like that said, I do like it, and I do love the illustrations of Tite Kubo, the Tite Kubo, whoever that name is pronounced. He's like an amazing illustrator. I just I don't think he's a fantastic storyteller. How do yeah. you feel about it, Tamor? Um, I will say that video still has some great like qualitative analysis. So if you go in um, and end up watching it, yeah, you know John's a cop to the fact that some of the data and statistics doesn't hold up but it's still an interesting discussion about bleach and i think i largely agree with the assessment of what you said and some of what you said in the video as well it's not it started off real strong really interesting idea for a world and then over time just became riddled with tropes and its own tropes and um it wasn't really interesting long run yeah now it does have like its hardcore fans and like whenever i do a video like Oh, oh God. Oh, yeah. I'm so this sorry. Is, this is good. You should, you should focus on this for a bit. Okay. But he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to wander. Uh. I asked him to describe it. Oh, Tamor, I'm, I'm doing two things. <laughs> 
threatening a labyrinth. He feels his way about. This is so cool. Then something moved. Bats. And this is really the feeling of doing a repetitive job you don't like by like imagining something else. This is oh man, this is awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. But he took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. But he found something more. Oh wow. Yeah, this is really impressive. Daydreaming. Yeah, this is so cool. I spoke with his boss. But East Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising. Oh, this is so cool. Hmm. He told me he'd made a new friend. Get out of the way, he fish. City named Lewis Topia. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. songs for them to play. Oh. He talked about starting a band. And he was always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. No this is just wonderful. Yeah, this is fantastic. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one Top chopper! That all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. an election for mayor and he won oh that's so cool <laughs> they begged him to stay but his mind was all wandering it became a game for him oh wow well, okay he'd conquer a city then immediately push on This really strikes me as one of those sections where it's like watching this must be so different to playing it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Where yeah. it's like the way it's like dividing your attention, like it does feel like kind of daydreaming, you know? Yeah. I think a lot. I mean, the people in the chat are like, this is what, like, you, you, Huckshaw420 says, this is some wild stuff. Um, yeah. It's, so I imagine some of it is coming across quite well. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. Uh, mm. <laughs> uh I don't I don't know about Lewis this dude. I... Lewis is super into it. Oh god damn. Oh uh, why just one? Okay, the prince. Beautiful prince. Prince was on his own quest for 
Um, sinister serpents. Sinister yeah. Serpents. Ah. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Huh. Fine. Nailed that. Followed the sound of his. Um, which, which one do you think, Tamor? Which, which one? Electric guitar. Sitar, sorry. Uh, sitars are pretty cool. Yeah, they're cool. I love how it's changing. Yeah. Hell yeah. This is cool. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. This is... Wow, this is so crazy. He knew the world was all in his imagination. Get out of my... <laughs> Damn fish! When we started off, like, being the shark rolling down the hill, I was really like, well, what else are they gonna do? Like, how yeah. are they gonna top that? top that? This is something else. Yeah, it's wild. For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon. But the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. That's so cool. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. Hmm. began to forget the world we know. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. Hmm. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. That's wild. I still thought oh. I could save him. Oh no. Even after he said he'd been crying That's... over all the wow. lands of wonder. Oh my would be god. Companions. Incredible. Yeah, absolutely incredible. Um, <laughs> going too well for you, mate. Gotta get back into the abyss. And the rest, I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed. Oh. Overworked himself, lost his sense of place, died. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. Wow. Oh. 
holy shit, I'm kind of, I'm kind of speechless after that. That was, that was incredible. Hmm. You're in the home stretch now. Home stretch. Okay, let's do this. Man. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what to say. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. A lot of people in the chat are also like, oh my god. She waited until the day before we left to tell Evie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. I wish we'd stayed. But I understand why we left. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. This is it, mate. day, Edie just watched his pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edie, specific- I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. That was a really cool shot. Hmm. The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or if Edie had a key to it. <laughs> God, this house is amazing. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Like, the story's very sad and it's been harrowing, but these are some fucking dope-ass halls! Yeah. Love me some secret hallways! <laughs> Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your story! I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay? Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. It I knew we were going to this house at some point. Time. <laughs> the old house There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. Oh. <laughs> It's more not getting a great feeling from this house. <laughs> it's fine. It's it's, it's old and decrepit. Not not a threat. I got turned around. Turn around. Some real last era Silent Hill 2 vibes here. Yeah. Some real PS1 era <laughs> <laughs> Fog. I stopped seeing things. Things I'd forgotten had ever. 
never existed. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and... Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. I never hmm. saw Great Grandma Edie again. Oh, man. The next morning, the van came to pick her up, but she was already gone. Off on an adventure. That, moved around a lot. We both tried to make the best of it. Okay. A few years went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it, but she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. Oof. She got better for a while, and then she didn't. And then I was alone. Last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you. And tell you all these stories myself. But I guess if you're reading this now... Things didn't work out that way. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. Oh man, okay. <laughs> wow. Because yeah, even when we looked down earlier, I was yeah. like, that girl is a tummy, that's cool, that's cool that they were like, this is what a actual person looks like. But I guess there was a little more to it than that. Yeah, oh you immediately God. looked down and I wondered whether you'd twig and figure out what was going on there. Um yeah, I did I didn't look down wow. the first time I played it. Like it took me because like, like I noticed right. the tummy, but I just thought it was like a just an average looking girl, you know. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Man, but... there you go. Wow, dude, that was fantastic. <laughs> that was really, really cool. What remains of Edith Finch? A few people have um, shouted out Joseph Anderson, who apparently does uh, video essays about the game. Um, seems like a I don't know Joseph. I don't know his uh, background or his general who he is. But um, a bunch of people have said he's, he's doing great work on on this, so it might be worth checking that stuff out. Um, yeah, um, I, I uh, I've watched a bunch of Joseph's videos. He's he's excellent. He's really really good. Great, um, brilliant. 
We interacted um, very briefly on Twitter where he was like, Silent Hill 2 isn't that great. And I was like, yes, it is. Report and I really blog. like your videos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 oh but yeah i've actually never watched his videos on this i'll have to check him out yeah there you go um wow, but yeah since so good. in that in that final stretch we had a donation from john habgood of 50 dollars um, nice thank you so much john so i didn't want to say anything while you were in the home stretch because <laughs> this whole this whole thing is, is uh, yeah this is amazing <laughs> it would have cut the tension a little bit yeah 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 <laughs> um but wow. yeah this is this is a very good game especially on repeat playthroughs and this is one of those games where it's great to watch other people play it for the first time mm. um and so i think you're gonna have a great time if you do play it with your uh, partner or whoever it may yeah be. um i think i think i could go i think i could definitely go for that but yeah that's that that has been um what remains of Edith Finch with the wonderful Super Eye Patch Wolf, John? Thank it's you more so like much. So much for having me. It's it was a total blast, dude. On it, like yeah. should, I'd absolutely be up for doing this again in some form. For sure, man. Um, definitely want to have you back again. Now that we've done it once, I'm sure it'll be comfortable and easy to do it again a bunch of times. I'd love to get you on our podcast as well at some point. Happily, um, yeah. Let's do it. But yeah, if you if you are watching this and aren't familiar with John's work, please do check out Super Eye Patch Wolf on YouTube. I'm a fan. We've got multiple fans. There's the Let's Fight a Boss podcast as well, which is one of my favorite gaming slash pop culture podcasts. Please do check it out. Um, you get plenty more of 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 John there um, and good Eye, Eye Patch Wolf takes there. But otherwise, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. Um, we are going to carry on doing streams for a little while longer, at least a week and a half. Um, and the links that are below, uh, bit.ly forward slash GS hyphen BLM for Black Lives Matter, bit.ly forward slash GS hyphen COVID are remaining active. You can donate um, at any time for those uh, uh, efforts and fundraising efforts. So please do. And um, we'll see you again tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to have... Um, People Make Games is Chris Bratt playing um, a game, Mountain Blade 2, I believe, with Dave Jewett from the UK's Games Oh, cool. Um, and that's going to be a lot of fun. I think they're going to play the baby mode, where you can play that game as a baby, which is wild. Um, but yeah, that should be fun. So yeah, we'll see is you that tomorrow. Neil Druckmann as a tester? No, that can't be the same person, sorry. <laughs> may, 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 you never know. Maybe it is. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Um, thanks so I, much guys this this is a blast and thanks for having me tomorrow like this was sure, so man. much fun seriously anytime anytime but yeah i think if if eric tay our voice of god is there we're gonna fade out now um i did tell him it might take a little longer but um uh because we were originally in the game but hopefully he's there tay take us away <laughs> <laughs>